What's up guys? Welcome to another unboxing. This is Cheeseburgers, man. Today we are unboxing the chill o -Matic. This promises to from warm to icy cold in one minute. No fizz or foam ever. Um, this product a friend of mine recommended to me. Well, he actually didn't recommend it. He saw it online and thought it was pretty cool. And he showed it to me and I thought it was pretty cool as well. And so I went, decided to check it out. So I have two beers right here. One is room temperature right here. And this one is already ice cold. It's been sitting in a cooler for about three hours with a bunch of ice. So uh, I do not have a thermometer, but when, when was the last time you drank a beverage and you pulled out a thermometer to check how cold it was so the way I will be testing this is basically is it comparable to the ice cold beer so let's get this unboxing underway I'm gonna get this out of the way well first a little uh, product features rapid beverage cooler on the go beverage chiller for ice cold soda or beer portable blast chiller for picnics and parties award-winning beer chiller I wonder what award it won easy to use drink chiller and chiller for those who like their beer ice cold drink cooler for on the go. Okay, so let's get this out of the way and let's get this unboxing underway. Well, first, I don't know if it requires batteries or not, but if, hopefully the batteries are included because I do not have any. So we have our actual device here and we have the product instructions right here. And I'm pretty sure it's straightforward, but we never use instructions, so we'll just put those out of the way. And we have the device right here. Pretty cheap, cheap plastic, but if it gets the job done, then what am I to say? It looks like it does require batteries, and it does require batteries, and I don't have any. So, I will be back. I have to go and search for some batteries. Batteries not included. All right, and we're back, and I was able to procure some batteries. Now, after reading the instructions, it says after 60 seconds, approximately 47 Fahrenheit. After 90 seconds, approximately 42 Fahrenheit. Well, what are my thoughts? My thoughts is I think it's not gonna work. That's what I think. But let's take a look and let's get this underway. And all you have to do is, there's little grooves right there on the side. If I can get it in, there it is. And that's it. And all you have to do is add ice. All right, let's get this show on the road. Now, what we're gonna do, this is our room temperature beer, which as you can see, there is no frosting on it like this one. This one's nice and frosty and ready to drink. Uh, what we're gonna do is attach it like so. There we go. So now it says to not fill it up all the way. One minute. It's been in there for about a minute. I'm gonna take it out of here. And as you can see, it looks like it was melting the ice as it's as it spinned. So first I'm gonna take it out of here. And what well, looks seems like popping off the back is a little troublesome, but did get it off. Wow, and I have to say that I can feel it through the gloves. It did get significantly colder. So I'm gonna take my gloves off and I can say it definitely, definitely works. I would definitely drink this if someone handed it to me. It's not, it doesn't seem like it's a gimmick, it does work. In comparison to this can, this one's a little colder of course, but from this being completely room temperature, now let's do the fizz test. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour it into this Pyrex glass and it says one of the things that it does advertise is no fizz and no foam ever. So I'm gonna pour this very slow and it looks like there is no fizz or no foam. I am amazed. This thing actually works. So now I'm gonna take a sip. Oh man, I'll give that a definitely thumbs up. Hey, thanks again for checking out this video. It actually works. I am surprised. Hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I really appreciate you checking out this video. Thanks a lot. And you guys have a great day. Ugh. Ow.